Hey everybody, how are ya? Welcome back to Redfish. Hope you're doing super duper well. Today, we're gonna give everybody some fresh new outfits because I've noticed that all of my villagers are still wearing all of their winter attire. So we're gonna give them some spring outfits and it's gonna be nice and fun. So let's go, let's have fun, let's do it. Alrighty, so I've already picked out a bunch of outfits and some of them, I don't know if my villagers will particularly like them or not, but I think it would look cute on them. And our first girl, she's right here. I, I'm giving both of my snooty characters the alpinist uh, dresses, and I hope that they like them, just because I think that they're going to look so cute on them. And um, we're going to match, because I got my alpinist overalls on. So, Miss Pecan... Oh wait, I have to wrap it first. Let's just ask you what the latest is. There's something about this time of day, I always seem to get a wee bit sleepy. Oh my, what was I saying? I'm sorry you're so sleepy. Let me let me wrap this for you. Hang on, girl. You're like in an awkward position here, working out on the stairs. <laughs> Look at her go. <laughs> but God. Hey, girl. Oh my, what is it, chipmunk? Well, this is for you. Hmm, what could this be now? It's this. A present just for you. Oh, I can't wait to see what's inside. Could it be? Is this really an alpinist dress? You know what? I'm gonna throw caution to the wind and try this on right now! Oh, I can't even see it. How could you have known that this would work so well on me? I'm impressed, Juju! Oh, yay! Okay, so she does like it. You know what? I'm gonna return the favor. Here, take this! It's a cafe uniform. Why, thank you, my dear. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see what you look like. You look adorable! And are you gonna keep working out in it? <laughs> Yes, girl! <laughs> Alright, we'll come back around to Picard. We'll, we'll get a better look at her dress in a little while. Who's next? Should we see if Mr. Hornsby's home? He's not home. Oh, perfect! Ants! I, I left these turnips here just because I know that I want to use them as decoration around his house. I'm gonna be decorating his house next. Speaking of the man, here he is. And these are some orange trees that I'm trying to grow because I feel like the orange trees would look really cute around his house. But I'm getting imp I'm impatient. Not getting impatient because I planted them literally today, but I'm going to be impatient. This is what I'm going to give Mr. Hornsby. And let's see if he likes it. Hey, bro. Oh, kind of weird how we keep bumping into each other today. Uh, do you want this? Huh? What is it? It is this. I can't take it. I'm gonna open it. Is it is it called a Hanton jacket? Someone let me know if I'm pronouncing that wrong. This is a Hanton jacket. It's real great. My other clothes are kind of crusty, so I'm just gonna try this on right now. Oh my god, it looks so good on him! What do you think? Not one stain or, or smear. Thanks, chief. Chef? Not chief. Chef. That's right, he calls me chef now. Here, a cordless phone, just for you, schnozzle. Thanks, dude. Should we see what color this is? Thank you, sir. I just obtained Hornsby's photo, and I'm really excited about it. I'm so happy. Ooh, it's one of these. Wow. It reminds me of the phone that we had in my house when I was a kid, like after we got rid of our cord phone. <laughs> okay, who's next? Who do I have? Um, this box skirt uniform. I'm gonna give that to Fauna. But it doesn't look like she's home right now. So, is Fang home? He is, and Raymond's home. So we'll give them both their things. It'll be great. Um, some some of these outfits are definitely a little bit more spring looking than others, but I just want to give them something to change it up. You know what I mean? So, Raymond's gonna wear this coat again. That's how you pronounce that, right? Coat again, not caught again. Coat again. And um, Fang's gonna get this colorful striped sweater because Fang is just kind of a sweater dude and he he's, looks really good with the blue and stuff. So we're gonna do that. Hello, Raymond. <laughs> Delivery time. Hello, dude. You can get in some water. See, I think he looks super cute in this sweater that I gave him for winter, but it's time to time to mix it up, my dude. Hey, I can't think of anyone I'd rather host at my fabulous pied de terre. I totally butchered that. Right now. <laughs> I am sorry, Raymond, that I, I can't pronounce anything today. Here you go. Now what do we have here? Oh, my. 
Gosh, uh, is this really a code again? This is the kind of gift that I've got to try on right away. Oh my god, yes. You look so good in that. Hey, not bad. Really, really not bad at all. Dare I say, good? You know, I can't just accept this without giving you something in return. Let's see. How would you feel about a work shirt? Hey, thanks. I actually think those work shirts are pretty cool. Should we see what color it is? Mr. Raymond? What's this work shirt look like? <laughs> it's cute! <laughs> I look so professional. <laughs> but I don't have any pants on. So... Okay, I'm gonna move this stuff down here just so that I don't get it mixed up. This is what Pecan gave me, right? We'll check that out a bit later too. But I don't see myself really using the cafe uniforms. Okay, see you later, Ray. I'm glad that you enjoy your new outfit. Bye. Okay, Mr. Fang's turn. I got him this nice colorful sweater, colorful striped sweater. Let's wrap it for him. Okay. Doki. 1-800. Here's a new outfit. Oh, you're still crafting. I think I already got whatever it was you were crafting, but I forgot what it was. You again! I tell you to make yourself at home, but it seems you already have. <laughs> this is for you. Hmm? Do you have something to give me? Yeah, bro. Here you go. I hope you like it. Can't wait to see what's inside. Are you kidding me? A colorful striped sweater? All right, I'm gonna try it on now. Oh my god, yes, that looks so good on you too! Uh, thanks, I feel spiffier already. I don't want any freebies. Here, have the baby chick costume. Why, thank you. <laughs> I think I already have one of those. Thanks, Fang. That looks really good on you. I like the, the greens and the blues on Fang. It's kind of his color scheme, right? All right, dude, have fun crafting. All right, team. Let's move this baby chick costume. Although... Oh my god, it's blue! <laughs> it's so cute. Alright, we'll move that down. And see who else we can find to give them their brand new outfits. So, is anybody else home? Murphy's not home. Maple's not home. Where's everybody? Is Miss Daisy home? Daisy is also not home. What the heck? What to heck? Where's the woman? Where's everybody? This always happens, like whenever I am actually looking for people, I can never find them. <laughs> hey, Bangle! Okay, Bangle's getting a really cute strawberry dress, and I think that the pink will look really adorable on her. Where do we have it? Here we go. Bangle! You're gonna love this dress! Having a total blast, Grouth? Do you want this? You're giving me a thing? Yes, ma'am. Here you go. Ooh, what is it? What is it? I'm gonna rip it open. Okay, let me see. What? For real? It's a strawberry dress. Time to try it on. I'm so excited. Oh, how amazing do I look? This is totes my jam slick. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here, I'll trade you. It's a jockey uniform, and I hear you love those. Thanks, girl. You look so cute, you sweet little straw baby. <laughs> I think the pink, hot pink looks really good on her, actually. Nice bangle. Yay, a little spring strawberry. Let's see if, um, if Bree is home. So I just moved Bree's house, actually. She was towards the front of the island, and it felt weird. Oh, no, she's right here. It felt weird having her only towards... She was the only one towards the front of the island, and it just, I don't know, it was really bothering me, so I kind of moved her back with everyone else. So she's here, and she's gonna overlook um, what is going to be a flower field, and I ended up putting in this kind of weirdly shaped looking fishing pond, which I don't know if it's a good spot or not, but we'll, uh, we'll see <laughs> when I start decorating. I realize that I've never given you any clothes before, Brie. You always wear your default. Well, um, here's a gift. Oh, you shouldn't have. So, hers is green. Pecans was red, hers is green, so that it matches her hair, and we're gonna be, like, totally matching. I must be dreaming. This can't be an alpinist dress. You know what? I'm gonna throw caution to the wind and try this on right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't say anything, I already know the answer. Fabulous. Yes, you do look fabulous. Well, I can't let you go away empty-handed. Here, take a striped tea. Thanks, girl. That looks so good on you. Oh my god. 
Look at us! We're matching, girl! <laughs> we look so good! Uh, and you look so cute with your little... Your little broom. You, aw, she's gonna like overlook the flower field and wear that dress. Yay! Oh, I'm excited. Okay, who who is next? We should probably go see if anybody is in- Oh, here's Fauna, but she's sitting down. Maybe we'll come back around to her. This is where Bree's house used to be, but no longer. So now this is just gonna be something else. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. But yeah, we should probably go see if people are out in the plaza. Who are we missing? Who's over here? <gasps> there she is! Okay, so I'm giving Daisy one of my absolute favorite articles of clothing in the game. The sleeved apron. The orange one. And I think it's gonna look really, really good on her. It's so good to unexpectedly bum in bump into a friend. Bow wow! Well, do you want this? For me? Really? Yeah, for you! Here you go. I wonder what's inside? What? Y you're really giving me a sleeved apron? Oh, I can't wait to try this on! Yes! Uh, thanks, I love how I feel in this. Uh, you are so cute, Daisy! Uh, oh, I'm so happy to have Miss Daisy on my island. Uh, you make me very, very happy. Now we just have to find Maple and, um... Who else are we looking for? This is for Maple, the layered tank dress. The tweed vest, that's gonna be for Murphy. This is for Fauna. Okay, so just those three. Let's see if, um, let's see if Fauna got up. But let's go up this way, because maybe one of them is up here near the shop. Anybody up shopping? No? Hopefully not inside anywhere, but we can check. Fauna? Fauna, I would like to give you something. Oh, she did get up. Where? Oh! Hey! Uh, you're gonna look so cute in this box skirt uniform. Good girl. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> nice running into you, dearie. Well, this is for you. You wanna give me something? Yes, a fresh new look. I've never given her any outfits yet either, so this is fun. <laughs> a box skirt uniform? You really wanna give this to me? I'm gonna try wearing this and see how it feels on me. Okay, that, like, was made for her. It's so darling with the little yellow ribbon on top. You're giving me a hand-knit tank. Oh, what's that look like? Uh, you look so good in that. Please face forward. Okay, well, I'm good seeing your backside, too, because it can see your adorable little tail. This is like- I'm having so much fun with this. This is, <laughs> this is like oh, way more fun than I had expected it to be. Uh, okay, so we need both of our bear cubs. Where where are my bear cubs? I do not know where they would be. I think last time I saw them... Are they over here somewhere? Where, where are they? I do not know. Okay, so this means... Oh my goodness! Hey! <laughs> Ooh, wait! The ladies are talking. Did you get my note, Bow Wow? Yes! You really do have the most creative ideas, cheese ball. So you understand what I was getting at. I guess I was afraid I wasn't making a lot of sense. You were perfectly clear, dear. And so clever to pair pumpkin pumpkin gnocchi with peach nectar. Pumpkin gnocchi with peach nectar? Ooh. That's so flattering to hear. Thanks. I have lots more ideas like that. Please send me whatever ideas you come up with. It'll be like I want a free subscription to Clever Living. <laughs> you guys are so wholesome. Okay, so this means we're gonna have to go inside and see if anybody is around. Ooh, Bingley, you got up here quick. Let's go check the clothing shop first. And if no one is in here, then we will check nooks. Nope. No one was in there. Is anyone down here? No one's sitting on the bench. Where are my bear cubs? Where could they be? Is one of them shopping? Can you pick up some stuff from from Nookets? Let's check it. Aha! Mr. Murphy! Uh, Murphy, you're not gonna look much different, actually, in this tweed vest, because it's kind of a similar color 
of what you got on right now, but I think I think you're gonna like it. Well, if it ain't Juju, didn't think I'd run into you here. You kind of caught me off guard. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, here's a gift. What? You want to give me something? Yes, sir. Here you go. <laughs> Wonder what it is. I'm excited to open it. What in the? A tweed vest? All right. I'm gonna try it on now. Ooh, okay, actually it's a lot darker than what he was wearing before. I think it looks really good. Let me thank you, a baseball uniform. Enjoy. Well, thanks, dude. Yes, Murphy, that looks great on you. I actually, I had two of the, like, magenta tweed vests, and I was thinking about giving him one of those, but this color fits him a lot better. I just, I just think that he would like it better. Um, hey dudes, I'm gonna sell some of these things that I, uh, that I'm not too very keen on. So the baseball uniform, all of that stuff. I need to keep this B to give to the museum. And hand knit tank. I don't think I, I think that's like a sleeveless thing and I don't think I'm very keen on those. Um, and I only have 981 bells, so I <laughs> need some money. Thank you, sold. Thank you, please come again. Yeah, for sure. All right, Murphy, you look great in that. I wish I could pan down in here, cause you look you look really good in that. All right, boys. Well, um, sorry, I'm like running right through you. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, so the last person that we have is Miss Maple, and I fear that she's in the museum. I hope not. Let's let's run up up here again and just see if maybe she just randomly spawned up here. Okay, so she's not home. Where's the lady? Where's the wump? I hope she's not in the museum. <laughs> it always takes so long to find them. Oh my goodness! Hey, you're facing outward now. This looks so good on you. I feel like this dress looks good on any of the villagers. Seriously. Uh, you guys, you guys rock it. It looks so good. I kind of wish that it came in yellow, too. I feel like that would look really pretty. Uh, Maple? Where is she? Should I check the museum real quick? Look at everyone in their new outfits. Aww. This <laughs> makes me so happy. Okay. I'm, like, way too stoked about this. Let me, let me check in here real quick and we'll see if we can find her. Well, she wasn't in there. I wonder where she could be. I think this happened last time that I made a video about gifting my villagers. I think on Valentine's Day I could not find Bangle. And I was like running all over the museum like a mad person. Where, where could she be? I just don't know. Where does Maple usually hang out? I mean, I typically see her up near her house, so I'm surprised that I cannot find her, that I do not know where she is, so where is the woman? I mean, if I can't find her, it's no biggie, because I just wanted this to be like a fun little video, little gifting video, but I would indeed love to see her in her outfit along with everybody else, because everyone is looking so good and so fabulous. Daisy's working out in her outfit. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Alright, where could she be? I, I might go check up, up above one more time and just see. Because I would really like everybody to have their outfits. Uh, where, where could she be? Uh, she's probably not home. She's not! What? What? What about up here? Sometimes she hangs out in Fang's garden. She quite likes it up there. I need to give her her own little garden. Everyone deserves a garden. But no, she's not up here either. Hmm. Oh, well, Fawn is home now. Do we think that maybe she's visiting someone? Should we check and see if she's in Fauna's house? Probably not, but let's just, let's just on a whim. Let's just do it. Let's see. <laughs> maybe, maybe she will be. No, Fauna's just working out. Fauna, where's Maple? Do tell. Sorry to disrupt you. Disrupt you from your workout. 
I hope you'd stop by, dearie. Okay, well, that's good. What's the latest? How's that friend of yours from uh, Isla Croix? <laughs> Derek, shout out to Derek. <laughs> you and Boozy get along well, dearie. Yes, Boozy and I do get along well. Boozy and I went to college together. A great person. See you later, Fauna. Bye. Okay. I, I'm um, starting to give up hope for Miss Maple. Well, now Murphy's home. Oh my goodness. But speaking of which, I have to show you guys this adorable picture of them together. Like, this was literally the day, I think the day of or the day after Murphy moved in. Or not the day of, it couldn't be because he was in boxes. But isn't this picture cute? They were just hanging out in Maple's house together. And I'm like, oh, neighbors. My bear cub neighbors. So sweet. Maybe she's visiting him now? I just, I just don't know where she could be. <laughs> No, he's just chilling. What? Bro, you took off your... You took off your tweed vest. Why'd you do that? Murphy? Dang it. That's okay. I think he likes it, because it's not like he put it in his house, so it's probably in his, um... I don't know, inventory? What would you call that? Nice of you to stop by, kiddo. I want to chat. Felt like classing things up with some alpinist overalls, eh? Just be careful. It's all well and good till you start a trend. And I get all dolled up. And I get all dolled up? Nobody wants to see that. What? I want to see that. I want to see you get all dolled up. I want to see everybody all dolled up. Heck yeah. Bye, dude. Okay. We're gonna do one more run around. And see if we can find her. Because I'm feeling quite determined. She's not up here, near Miss Daisy's house. Which, by the way, I'm pretty happy with Daisy's house. I think it turned out well. I I think it turned out really, really good. And I, I like these colors and stuff that we put together here. I think I think it's it's working for her. I, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna decorate Maple and Murphy's house since they are kind of different on the outside, but they're connected since they're next to each other. So we'll see how we do that. But the next house, whoops. The next house that I'm going to decorate is going to be Hornsby's, so um, keep an eye out for that. It'll be fun. She's not over there. Where is Miss Maple? <laughs> I swear, if she's like in a shop now, then I'm going to be bummed. Okay, Maple. Okay, Maple. Bangle, where's Maple? Where's Maple? I, just, I don't figure that she'd be on the beach. <gasps> what? Oh, Juju! Sorry, I was preoccupied. What? No. I didn't know that it was time for someone to move out. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, as you can tell, I don't think I'm ready for Maple to leave quite yet. <laughs> I fear she might still be thinking, so I'm not gonna run around and use your guys' time to go find her and give her her outfit quite yet, but I will be giving it to her a little bit later today. But this is, um, this is interesting information, because this means that someone's gonna be looking to move out pretty soon then, in the coming days. I, I think, um, I mean, I just gave Brie that adorable dress and it looks fantastic on her. But I think I I would let Brie go. I've had her for a while. I I might let Pecan go. I just I just love her a lot. But I think she's the one that I've had the longest. And um, I'd probably let Raymond go at this point too. Maybe Fang. I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of open to let some people leave. But I'm not ready for Maple to leave yet. <laughs> I'm just not ready to let her leave. I might let Bangle go too. We can get a different Peppy. I've had her for a while. Oh my goodness. Well, that was quite the development. Well, either way, thank you all for watching me run around in a panic, trying to give all my villagers something new to wear. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you are having such a great, awesome, lovely day or night. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!